Teddy Rubskin here, and today we're talking about Back to the Future. Yeah, that's right. Back to the fucking future. Which uh, was made in 1985, and it's about a kid from 1985, played by Michael J. Fox, who's the fucking coolest kid to ever live. You know, he's got a hot-ass girlfriend, he's in a fucking band, he was skateboarding way before anybody else was, and... Oh, look at that! He's fucking skitching! He's skitching! You know, he fucking grabbed the back of a car and ride with a skateboard behind it. That's fucking dangerous, man. You could fucking get killed doing that. You know, fucking guy slams on the brakes, you're fucking dead. You know, he hits a fucking speed bump, you're fucking toast, man. It's fucking dangerous. It is actually a Sega Genesis game called Skitching, which will let you do that. But, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll fucking play that game. Yeah. I'll fucking play that game for you. Sometime. Not now. Like, lady. Yeah. Anyway, fucking, uh, Michael J. Fox. He's the coolest kid to ever fucking live, and, uh, yeah, he's friends with a fucking mad scientist who lets him use his fucking cool equipment. And one night he calls him to the fucking, uh, fucking mall parking lot to film him test his newest fucking invention. Wait. Which is a fucking time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Yeah. Look out! <laughs> fucking right. The DeLorean is very stylish, very stylish fucking time machine. You know? Yeah. It's anyway, fucking long story short, uh, Michael J. Fox gets sent back to the 1950s, uh, and he gets stuck there, right? So he's got to find a fucking young Doc Brown, who's 30 years younger. Doesn't really look 30 years younger, but... You know, he is. He's 30 years younger, okay? And, uh, he shows some fucking videotape of himself fucking 30 years in the future. Kind of blows his mind. Anyway, the doc doesn't think he's going to be able to fucking do it. He doesn't think he can get, get, fucking get him back to the fucking future, you know? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. Yeah, so they're gonna fucking rig up some crazy fucking thing to get the fucking time machine to work to get him back to the fucking future, right? But it's complicated. If we could somehow harness this light, channel it into the flux capacitor. Uh, but it's fucking complicated. Actually, it's really fucking complicated because fucking Michael J. Fox fucked up the entire space-time continuum when he fucking ran into his dad. Like, literally ran into his dad, and then a car ran into him. Like, fuck. Like, he got hit by a car that fucking... His dad was supposed to get hit by the car. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. It was meant to be. Yeah, because that, 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 that's how he fucking met his mom. If Grandpa hadn't hit him, then none of you would have been born. Yeah. Now, now Michael J. Fox is, is going to never been born. Erased from existence. So yeah, so to prevent himself from vanishing from existence, he's got to fucking get his dad to date his mom. I'm just not ready to ask Lorraine out to the dance. But he doesn't fucking want to. And not you, right? Or anybody else on this planet is going to make me change my mind. So he's got to take drastic measures. In another one of my fucking favorite scenes, where he fucking sneaks into his room, like puts a fucking Walkman on his head, and plays some Van Halen. <laughs> Yeah. He'll melt his brain with some fucking Van Halen. Yeah. Who are you? Silence, Earthling. My name is Darth Vader. That's awesome. An extraterrestrial from the planet fucking. Right. In fact, he's totally fucking convinced 
the aliens are fucking trying to meld his brain. You know what I'm saying? George, last night Darth Vader came down from Planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah, well, uh, let's let's just keep this brain melting stuff to ourselves, okay? Oh yeah, yeah. And right. the situation is further complicated by <laughs> Biff. Oh, Biff, Biff, fucking yeah. Biff, goddamn. Biff is like the best '80s fucking bully of all time. Him and this guy from the fucking Karate Kid movies. Yeah. Best fucking 80s bully of ever. Best. Would you? Well, now, of course not. No, I wouldn't no. want that to happen. What are you looking at, butthead? Hey, Biff, they don't know this guy's life preserver. Dork thinks he's gonna drown. Yeah. So, uh, how about my homework, McFly? Yeah, uh, he, 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 apparently okay. Biff has been fucking torturing Michael J. Fox's dad for, for fucking ever. For his entire fucking life. From high school, even into adulthood, right? Would you? Of course not, Biff. Now I wouldn't want that to happen. He's his fucking supervisor at work, and he's making his life fucking miserable. I spilled beer all up when that car smashed into me. Who's gonna pay my cleaning bill? He's wrecking his fucking car. Uh, uh, my he's reports? just fucking... Uh, well, oh I my god. So Can you yet, imagine no, I, 30 I years of fucking this? The same fucking Hello? thing. Anybody home? And he's doing oh, his fucking man. work. Think we're fine. Things. Just like he was doing well, his fucking homework back in high school. Wasn't due till Monday. Hello? Hello? Oh, home? poor George McFly. What a pathetic existence he lives. I'm sorry. So sad. What are you looking at, butthead? And fucking Biff is the fucking reason. That bastard. Until fucking Michael J. Fox gets in the fucking way. And then Biff turns his anger on him. In one of my fucking favorite scenes from the fucking film, right? Where fucking uh, Michael J. Fox is running from Biff and his fucking gang, and grabs this kid kid's little scooter thing, basically breaks it in order to make a makeshift skateboard, and basically invents skateboards. Right in the fucking fifties, he was literally the first kid to ever ride a skateboard. Yeah, and it's a great scene where he uses his skitching skills to outwit fucking Biff and his gang. And they end up fucking crashing into a manure truck. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah. And fucking Michael J. Fox invents rock and roll. Later on in the movie when he's fucking playing Johnny B. Good on fucking stage at the dance. He's literally inventing rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, he's the fucking coolest kid to ever fucking live. Yeah. Literally. You know. Yeah, and at the end of the fucking movie he gets his fucking parents to get it. And he fucking catches a fucking lightning bolt, rides that fucking shit home. And, uh, and everything's great. And, and when he wakes up the fucking next day, right, he, he, uh, he, he, he notices that everything's a little different, right? The house looks fucking really nice. And, and his parents look fucking great. They look like they're happy, when before they look fucking miserable and pathetic. Now they look like they're fucking in love. Yeah. And, and, and Biff is all nice. He's like waxing their car and shit. Like, uh, what the fuck? And, oh, and his fucking dad is now an author. He fucking wrote a book, apparently, about uh, <laughs> aliens trying to... You're getting little kids to get it. Like, because he really believes that when he was younger, aliens visited him and tried to melt his brain in order to get him to date a girl. Yeah, so he wrote a fucking book about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, that is not what happened. It wasn't aliens. It was actually his son from the fucking future. My name is Darth Vader. Which is uh, a crazier story than that, for sure. Yeah. I left out a bunch of shit. It, 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 it's really fucking complicated, man. You should just fucking see it. Just fucking see the movie. You know? Yeah. Hey, so there you go. That's fucking Back to the Future. From fucking director Robert Zemeckis. Who also fucking made Who Fucking Framed Fucking Roger Rabbit and Forrest Fucking Gump. And, uh, recently he's made a bunch of CG motion capture movies. Fucking Polar Express. 
Beowulf, goddamn Christmas Carol, and what the fucking Marsney's Mimes? <clears throat> what the fuck, man? Stop it. Quit fucking making these movies. What, what's, the, what's the problem? Why aren't you making live-action movies anymore, huh? You, you, something wrong? You, you want to talk about it? Huh? Go on, man. Jesus. But, uh, th this is by far fucking Michael J. Fox's best fucking film. You know, in a fucking Teen Wolf notwithstanding. Back to the Future is fucking Michael J. Fox's best work. You know what I'm saying? You know. But, uh, yeah. They, they made fucking sequels. And we will fucking talk about it. Next fucking time. Okay? So, until then, keep it real! <laughs>